Well, I think, first of all, I completely agree with what Victor Gao said, that this is a truly extraordinary partnership. If I can try and let your viewers understand the extent to which Pakistani people are following this visit, um, I can tell you that people in Pakistan have obviously for generations seen China as a brother country. Pakistan is the country with the highest positive attitude and expectations from China and China's growing engagement with the world. And also China is the country that came and invested in Pakistan under the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor Project when uh, Pakistan was relatively not able to receive a lot of funding and this definitely transformed. I would say the word transformative is very accurate for when China stepped in and created opportunities for Pakistan. Moving forward, even looking at the floods, the devastating floods that obviously have left so many Pakistanis homeless and resulted in billions of dollars of damage that we are really grappling with. Chinese government, Chinese companies, Chinese provinces, Chinese people have stepped up and helped. And even now, uh, China has just announced a 500 million yuan package in order to help Pakistan face this uh, devastating uh, situation that we find ourselves in. So we see that obviously the sentiment is there. China's, uh, China and Pakistan's cooperation is very holistic. Uh, CPEC is about ports, pipelines, roads, railways, but it's also about people-centric development. It's about creating opportunities. And then in times of need, uh, just like the floods, China was there more than any other country. So that sentiment, those words definitely reflect the reality on the ground. And I also think that, for instance, uh, when we talk about CPEC as a more holistic project, we already have various uh, various aspects and dimensions identified that were obviously mentioned uh, in the uh, in the report you previously uh, played. So we are seeing obviously uh, infrastructure investment. We are also seeing a lot on renewable energies, green energy transformation for Pakistan not only making Pakistan more climate resilient in this difficult period, but also investing in Pakistan's people. So this is definitely an underreported uh, relationship and underreported uh, practical cooperation. But I think with time, we are able to uh, showcase uh, by example that CPEC is definitely uh, transforming Pakistan and creating opportunities for the region.